Welcome back to Deciphered Bitcoiners. I'm Drew, your host. For those of you who are now just joining us, Deciphered is a new show from Blockstream that shares best practices in Bitcoin by breaking down some of the cool features in our wallets and other products in a simple, easy to understand way. For today's episode, we're going to discuss Blockstream Satellite, how it improves Bitcoin redundancy, and also walk you through how to send public as well private encrypted messages over it using the Lightning Network. But first, let's begin by learning a little more about the Blockstream Satellite and how it benefits the Bitcoin network as a whole. The Blockstream Satellite Network is made up of six geosynchronous satellites that broadcast the Bitcoin time chain around the world 24-7 for free. It allows those without stable internet connection or internet infrastructure at all to use Bitcoin and protects against network interruptions and reduces Bitcoin's overall dependency on the internet. Very little equipment and software is required to set up your own Blockstream satellite. You can set up your own Blockstream satellite, MacGyver style, for around 100 bucks while following our DIY instruction guide. I'll put the link for the instruction guide down below in the description box right next to that like button. For a more professional grade option, we sell the Blockstream base station on our site store, which is an all-in-one antenna that supports connections up to eight Bitcoin nodes on the same network. It's really great for serious node runners or mining operators. So now you're wondering, how does this all exactly work? Blockstream satellite ground station, known as teleports, participate in the Bitcoin network and transmit blocks to satellites orbiting at 22,236 miles away which receive the signal and broadcast the blocks globally. Each Blockstream satellite teleport receives blocks from our other teleports around the world to ensure the teleports themselves do not get divided. We'll be doing a deeper dive on how to set up an antenna to connect to the satellite in a later video. But for today's example, sending messages over satellite, we won't actually need an antenna at all. We'll just be using the Blockstream satellite API an internet connection, and some humble sats on the Lightning Network. So why might you want to send messages over satellite? Besides the fact that it's extremely cool, it can help you communicate censorship-free. For example, if a state actor, business, or other third-party actors are limiting your access to speech platforms or censoring your speech in general, you are able to broadcast your message for the whole world to see. For even more privacy, you can also send an encrypted message if you only want certain parties to read that message. For our first demo today, we'll be focusing on broadcasting a public message using the Blockstream satellite, which is available on our website. So with that, let's get started. Our Blockstream satellite API provides developers with an easy to use REST API that can be used to create apps that broadcast messages globally using the Blockstream satellite network. The API is open for anyone, with the only requirement being that the data is paid for. Unlike data sent over the internet, the source and recipient of broadcasts are hidden. As I mentioned earlier, communication privacy can be further enhanced by using an encryption service, which we're going to do in a little bit. In order to send a message to the whole world using the Blockstream satellite, you're going to want to find yourself on Blockstream.com, and you're going to want to go to Products and Blockstream Satellite. Once the Blockstream satellite page loads, you're going to want to go to Transmissions, scroll down a little bit, and you're given two options of either broadcasting a transmission or managing transmissions. Because we want to broadcast a message, we're going to press Broadcast. A new screen is going to come up, and this screen is just telling us or letting us know we can either upload a file or we can put in a message. I have already wrote out a message, so I'm going to input that, and that message is telling the whole world to watch the video that you're watching. So. I'm going to then press next, and this is where it's asking us to place a bid on how many sats we want to bid for. It prices everything in millisatoshis, so 1,000 millisatoshis equals one sat. So one sat is fair enough for me, so I'm going to press submit. New screen is going to populate, and this is just letting us know that we should save this information if we want to either delete or if we want to bump our fee up to get the message through faster. Because this message is not a huge deal to me, I'm not going to save this information, but if it is, you're going to want to save it. Great. Now I'm going to go to next, pay through Lightning, and this is where you're going to pay your invoice. So you can either copy paste this 
you invoice into your Lightning wallet, or you can scan the QR code. So that's actually when I'm gonna bust out my phone and pay with my Lightning node, or Lightning wallet, that's connected to my CLN node. So I'm gonna press pay. Fantastic, the transaction went through, and I can go down and press finish. Scroll up, and you'll see that all transmissions have been sent. If I go to my Telegram chat, you could see that actually my message has just sent. So it's just saying, stay tuned for Blockstream's next deciphered video, sending messages over Lightning with the Blockstream satellite. So congratulations, you just sent your first message to the whole world using the Blockstream satellite using Lightning. Nice job. If you're not running the BlockSat CLI utility, you can keep tabs on all the broadcasts and messages by joining the Blockstream satellite transmission feed Telegram chat. The link for the Telegram chat will be in the description box down below. Now that we know how to broadcast a public message with Lightning and the Blockstream satellite, let's try our hand at an encrypted version. But first, let's learn a little bit more about encryption. For this, I'm going to be calling up my good friend Grubles. He's a bit of an OG in the Bitcoin space, so he has a few tricks up his sleeve on how to stay anonymous. So let's give him a ring. Hey Drew, nice phone. Let's learn some encryption. What does it mean to encrypt data? The official dictionary definition reads, to change information from one form to another, especially to hide its meaning. Well, that's great, but what does this look like? Imagine you are receiving a letter with what seems to have a random assortment of letters. However, you know the key to crack the code. To the person that does not have the key for the message, the letter is garbage, as the letter looks like nonsense. For the person who has the key to the message, the letter makes total sense. This is a form of encryption. This form of encryption is great, but easily crackable. Especially when we start using powerful computers, this is where ciphers come into play. Public key encryption uses both the public key and private key to mathematically match them together. Someone can send a message encrypted with the public key, which is then decrypted by the recipient, using the matching private key. So when sharing encrypted messages with a party, it is absolutely critical that you share the proper keys, otherwise the information will be lost in encryption forever. Thanks, Drew. Catch you later on the time chain. Awesome. Thanks, Grubles. It was great talking to you. That guy is great. He's my go-to guy when it comes to all things technical, especially when it comes to Bitcoin. We hope to have him on in future episodes. So for today's example of encrypting messages, I'll be using a program called Cleopatra. Please do your own research into what encryption tools you should be using based on your own criteria. So with that, let's encrypt our first message. In order to send an encrypted message over the Blockstream satellite, you're first gonna need to encrypt your message. In order to do that, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using a software program called Cleopatra. So once I am in Cleopatra, I'm going to go to Notepad and I'm gonna write a message. Um, and it's gonna be super important and super secretive. And that is, do you like my mustache? If I can spell. And as I mentioned, I don't want anyone to know about this except for the few people that I want to receive it. So this is where I'm gonna to go to recipients and I'm gonna type in, I only want Satoshi to know and Bitcoin to know. Great. So once I go there, once I have picked the people that I want to send it to, I'm going to then encrypt my message. I'm going to put in my password. Press OK. Press OK. And then you're going to want to go back to your notepad and you're going to notice that your message has now disappeared. A very important piece of information to know is that you need to copy everything in the notepad. So that means the first dash, the first dash if I can properly highlight it, and the last dash. So make sure you get everything in between. And great, now that I have it copied, I am going to actually delete this message so that we have a blank notepad. Great, so you're gonna do the same steps as you did before when you sent the public message. You're gonna find yourself on the Blockstream website. You're gonna go to broadcast a transmission. 
we've already done this together. You're gonna choose a file or you're gonna paste your message. We're going to paste this PGP message. Looks like a bunch of jargon, but don't worry. Something very cool is about to happen. So then we're gonna press next, bid your price. Again, this is asking us how many sats we wanna bid. We're doing a thousand millisats, which is one Satoshi, which is good for me. Submit. Again, this is telling us that we can save this information to either delete or bump our fee to get the transmission through. We don't need it because it's not that important. And then we're gonna pay through Lightning. And this is again where I'm going to bust out my handy dandy Lightning wallet, which is connected to my CLN node. I'm gonna pay. And just a heads up, we're going to making it, be making a video on how to set up your own CLN node in the near future. So hold on to your seats. My fee has been paid. And this is where I'm gonna press finish. Scroll up. All transmissions have been sent, fantastic. We're gonna go back to the Blockstream satellite transmission feed on our Telegram. And you're gonna notice that, look at our PGP message has been sent. So this is one we're gonna to want to copy this whole message. Remember, you have to get all of the dashes. Those are very important. And that's when we're gonna go back to our Cleopatra software and we're gonna be still in the notepad and we're just gonna paste in that PGP message. And from there, we're gonna press decrypt. Fantastic. And then you're gonna notice that our PGP message has now translated into the message that we asked earlier. Do you like my mustache? So congratulations, you just sent your first encrypted message over the Blockstream satellite using your Lightning wallet. Nice job. Before we go, let's take a few minutes and quickly summarize what we reviewed today. We first discussed the Blockstream satellite. It's a satellite network that broadcasts the Bitcoin time chain around the world 24 seven for free, giving Bitcoin users greater accessibility, reliability, and anonymity. We also explored public broadcasts. Our Blockstream satellite API provides devs with an easy to use API that can be used to create apps that broadcast messages globally using the Blockstream satellite network. The API is open for anyone to use with the only requirement being that the data is paid for. If you'd like to utilize the service, users can transmit public messages using the API available on the Blockstream website and can pay for the data using the Lightning Network. We also touched on private transmissions. Unlike data sent over the internet, the source and the recipient of broadcasts are not retrievable from the data. The privacy of your messages over satellite can be further enhanced by using an encryption service like OpenPGP and Cleopatra. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a comment down below if you have any comments or questions when it comes to the Blockstream satellite. Also, leave a comment on any future videos that you want to see in the future. We read all comments and we take everything into consideration. Again, thank you for watching. And until next time, stack those sats, and as always, don't trust, verify.